There is a set of code that accompanies this YouTube channel in every action it does. No bitch niggas, no snitch niggas, no twitch niggas, and no fake switch niggas. Get back to me on that last one. I still don't know what the fuck it means. If you are a member of this YouTube channel, you live by these laws. What happens when we find not just an individual or a group or an entity, we find an entire company of nothing but bitch made niggas? You know what we do? Backhand, pimp style, nigga action! I went to a gaming convention in New York City yesterday called, funnily enough, Play New York City. Very, very original name, guys. Comic Con, but just for gamers entirely, no cosplay. Bruh. I even saw a couple of the Joy-Con boys in there. So shout outs to y'all. Thank you for making my day yesterday. They had one booth there, which caught my attention more than any other. You know Game Vice, right? The guys who are currently suing Nintendo over the Switch. If they win, they're one, gonna get all the money made off the Switch that Nintendo has done, and two, shut down the sales of the Switch entirely, which means no future games, no 2018, no rise of the Nintendo Switch. It's all over if these guys win. Some serious stakes are at play here. Oh, you're hating on the company. Stop being such a bully. Maybe they should stop trying to bully Nintendo over some bullshit ass patent that they had in 2012. Right there at the start of the fucking second floor, Game Vice. What in God's names are the chances I catch Game Vice right there at this Play New York City event with both of their ugly ass devices? Shitty, disgusting, absolutely horrendous, monumental sized projects. And I'm not talking monumental like reputation wise, I mean definite actual size wise. How in the hell do you expect people to take your ugly ass shit with them on the go when the fucker can't even fit in the pocket not both of them just one of them and funnily enough i was wearing my joy con boy shirt so as if i as if it was almost predestined that i was supposed to be there to be honest with you it felt like a dance with fate at the time because when i saw them on the floor i saw except to my man devon who was with me he's the guys i wear the beads with all the time yes i know you're gonna call them anal beads no i don't use them for anal sex Yes, you can imagine about it and fantasize if you want to. Yes, I know that there's role players and cosplayers out there and a whole bunch of fanfic writers who will take advantage of this situation. Go ahead, I don't care. Just don't send me the video aftermath, okay? I'm like, Devon, these niggas are trying to sue Nintendo. I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta roast them, Devon. And he's like, do you, nigga? Like, that nigga wasn't gonna stop me? Who was gonna stop me? Who's calling me? Don't you see I'm about to roast these niggas? Who the hell is it? Hello? No, I'm roasting niggas! Not even remembering that I got a fucking Joy-Con boy shirt on. And I say to the guy, hey, you mind if I try out your product real quick? He was standing to the side like this, right? He turned around, he looked at the shirt, he read it up and down, he said, nah, nah. Oh, is this a joke? Like, are you, are you, are you making banter with me? Is this a laugh? Am I supposed to chuckle after this? He didn't say anything and he kept talking to the people that were trying to already mess with his ugly ass system. I was like, wow. <laughs> The level of pettiness. You see, I'm wearing the Dracon boys, and all of a sudden, you trying to act all funny? What's this? These niggas are bitch through and through. You know that fucking picture where it got the nigga on the phone with the glasses like this, and he's looking mad, worried about the shit? The nigga was feeling kind of froggy in the moment, and then when I was told that I wasn't able to touch the thing, I think maybe it was just in a joking manner. Maybe he didn't really mean it. It was just kind of like a joke to put in front of my shirt. But it ain't fun thinking about it like that. It's fun thinking about it the serious way. It, it just felt so surreal to me to be in the area with these guys. You know that game is a throwing shit where that fucking nigga Jamie Lannister, he saw Daenerys there and he was like, this is the perfect opportunity to strike them in the heart. I was thinking the same shit. I was sitting there like, mm, mm, nigga, I could take them out right now. There wouldn't be no court case. There wouldn't be any kind of proceeding or follow up. I would put my life in danger to make sure my nigga Bill Trennan don't go to court. Bill, I'll take this one out, man. It's fine. I, I, I was about to run up to that shit. The only problem is that the dragon that would be in the room would be the fucking lawsuit that were to come afterwards. So, um, yeah. But you're lucky you had the lawsuit defense, or else I would have turned y'all into a meal yesterday. But then again, I think a lot of people that were there at the event were already roasting their asses as is, so I wasn't doing anything special. Nintendo was getting their shits in the whole day without them even being at the event. So when the dude wasn't looking, I got my man Devon. I was like, dude, get a picture of us real quick. Get me, get, get me, get me in a picture. I posted that shit up on Twitter, and this is one of my most favorited pictures on the fucking website in general. It was absolutely ridiculous. And we were all laughing because we all knew, like, I did the YouTube 
YouTube channel, we were saying these niggas are fucking bold. These niggas are fucking bitch niggas. I caught them slacking, bro. And the only reason I didn't press them or grill them, these boys would have easily started to be like, oh, you say anything fucked up, we'll sue. You gonna try to throw lawsuits to protect yourself? Go ahead and do so, nigga. But you ain't gonna be able to hide behind that forever. And once you lose this case and I catch them boys slipping, I'm gonna be like, Ooh. Oh no, please, money can you know? What's on the side of the suit? How long will the drive? Never punch!